Hello, everyone. Quick flash, and today I'm going to be talking a bit about Emu Flight version 1.0, as well as showing it off on a toothpick. I'm going to start off in this video, it's just me doing some snap maneuvers and um, throttle maneuvers, you know, raising the throttle all the way and back down, and just showing how this quad reacts and, you know, how well version one really does fly yeah you can see here i'm starting to do the throttle test you're really just looking for bobbles and pitch doing it you'll see it again some more right there you know it's holding onto the horizon pretty darn well you see a little bit of movement but it's doing pretty darn well um yes yeah, so the first part of this video is just me showing off how well this flies on my three inch toothpick it's really incredible how well I've managed to get it to fly um, through tuning it and through Emu Flight 1.0. Um, and right now there's some code in Emu Flight 1.0 that um, we need to merge. So version 0 0.4 of Emu Flight has code that 1.0 doesn't. So i to merge that code back in. Um, but currently 1.0 is up to date with Beta Flight 4.3 with some changes and other tweaks, it's still still very much, you know, the Emu Flight changes you've grown to know and love, um, plus all the additions that Beta Flight's given. Um, and really, we're just waiting on the GUI primarily before that can be ready to go. Um, so hopefully, I don't know when, but maybe sometime soon, no ETA at all, though, you know, maybe sometime soon we'll get to a point where we can do a more public test and get more people to start using it. But right now, the GUI is really unusable. You really have to know what you're doing to set it up. Yeah, you see here some prop wash tests doing well. So 1.0, I'm excited. I'm excited. Enjoy the rest of the video. Was it the voice? Was it the fire burning in me? All of the noise turned into choir. Of harmony, left me 